Hey, welcome to the OpenStack Summit in Boston. Uh, can you please tell us your name and uh, what do you do? Uh, thank you for having me here. My name is Fatih Tirmanj and I work as principal developer for Ericsson based in Sweden. I am also OpenFE ambassador working in open source committees. Hey, uh, yeah, so we want to start off with uh, what is OFP and V doing? Uh, OpenFE is an open source project which is open platform for network functions virtualization. It's an open source project that tries to uh, do uh, system integration and testing as an open community effort. What we basically do is we basically bring in all these different components such as OpenStack, OpenDaylight, KVM, Fido and all these components together and put them together, deploy them on our bare metal labs and test them like as a whole and as a product which is not uh, generally done by the open source communities in fact because the, uh, all these components can behave normally if they are tested in their own scope but when you put them together, they might not behave as expected. And OpenFE tries to do that for all the open source communities it works with. Ah, oh, very cool. Uh, can you explain the cross-community continuous integration, also known as XCI? Yeah, uh, since the early days of OpenFE, we have been doing this job, and we uh, have been putting all these components together in our continuous integration machinery. And our release model is based on stable releases from upstream projects. And this model has its flaws and its weaknesses, such as if I am a developer who wants to do some uh, bug fixes in OpenStack, for example, or new features in OpenStack, it might take quite some time for those features to be included in OpenStack releases and pulled back into OpenFE. This could change between two, three months to six months, which is very slow feedback and which might cause problems for both upstream developers and OpenFE developers. We want to cut this time short and ensure that our developers, OPNV developers, OpenStack developers, and any other community developers can do their work on the latest and greatest versions of all these upstream projects. And cross-community CI activity was a result of all these learnings we have been uh, doing with OPNV last two years. And currently, we uh, are uh, working with OpenStack, but cross-community CI is not limited to OpenStack only. Open Daylight, Fido, uh, OnUp, are all other projects we are working with to establish this huge, big machinery to help, with, help to all these communities we are working with. So what should we expect from the initiative in the next six to 12 months? Uh, currently, we have a, a prototype up and running in OPN CI, which basically takes latest version of OpenStack and deploys it on bare metal. And by this, we aim to give a sandbox to our developers, OpenV developers and OpenStack developers, so they can deploy OpenStack from latest on master and get quick feedback. Based on these learnings, we want to uh, roll this out to a uh, wider community within OpenV, within OpenStack, and within other communities we are working with, such as Open Daylight. For next six to 12 months, Apart from rolling this out to wider community, we want to integrate different components into this cross-community CI, such as Open Daylight and Fido, and provide faster feedback to all these communities so they can fix faults faster, implement new features faster, resulting in bringing new services faster in the end.